Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades, and I'm back for part two of finishing this pineapple wooden tray. Just going to tap off the extra glitter here and make sure I don't have any loose pieces because when I get ready to put resin on it, I don't want any loose glitter floating around. Just going to take my finger and make sure the edges are clear and that there'll be no little rough spots of um, resin once it cures. I'm going to save that extra glitter and put it back in the container. And now I'm going to paint the sides. And around the bottom of the pineapple, I'm going to be using the Liquitex Bronze Yellow and Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue. <laughs> and then around the uh, top of the pineapple, I'm going to use Artist Loft Light Green. And I want to give a little bit more details to the where the um, mica chips are. So I'm going to take this Mad Oils um, Olive Martini, which is the green, and then the Goldfinger, and um, make like a little thinned paste. And I'm going to use the green to kind of outline the edges just a little bit. And then I'm going to take the gold and just drizzle it around in random fashion um, around some of the mica chips just to make them stand out a little bit more. Give it a little more of that kind of rough look that a pineapple has on its skin. So I am ready to put on the resin and we are going to be using the stone coat art coat. You use a ratio of one to one and you mix the A into the B to make sure that it gets blended well. I'm going to take those mica powders and add a little bit to some 91% alcohol. I want to make sure that the mica powders um, dissolve and I don't have that grainy looking texture that sometimes happens in your resin. Not all mica powders do that but some of them do and I just want to make sure that that doesn't happen. Okay, I got the mica powder in there and you can see it doesn't take a whole lot of the mica powders to color anything and when I'm adding the alcohol it doesn't take a lot of alcohol to um, allow your mica powders to dissolve. Okay, the green is done. And now we'll do the gold finger. That that I just did is the olive martini. It is a pretty green. And this gold is off the chain. It is gorgeous. Just a little bit in here. A little bit goes a long way. And then I'm going to add the alcohol. And then just stir until I'm sure that 
the powder is all dissolved into the alcohol. And I'm going to take some of the resin and divide it up into these two cups. This will be for the gold and the green. And I'm going to set them aside while I add a clear coat first to the um, glitter and the mica chips and I'm just taking my stir stick and I am streaming the resin off of it onto the glitter I want to be very very careful that I don't knock any of it loose and I want to get a really good coating to start with um, I'll have to do more than one layer because the glitter is very thick at the top and will stick above um, the first layer of resin and some of these mica chips in places where I did the second layer is also would be above the level of, a, of the first layer of resin so I'm going to heat up this resin and before I do I turned my um, heat gun away to blow out any dust that might be in there and thank you for that trick um, Doris from DF Designs she taught me how to do that <laughs> and heating this resin up is so that um, I can just glide it over the surface and move it with my hand to uh, cover up the entire surface of the pineapple. Um, I'm going to just be very careful with the um, area where the glitter is and pretty much heat that up and let the um, resin go where it's going to go up there basically um, I don't want to disturb any of the glitter and um, this first layer of resin will cure and then be able to hold all that into place the heat gun also helps remove any uh, air bubbles that might be between the surface of your um, project and your resin and you want to bring those up the heat gun will bring them up and pop them okay let's color some resin so I'm going to pour the gold in here and you can see that I didn't pour it all in there. There's a little bit left in my cup and that's because um, I want to make sure that there's no residue in there that where I'll get those little speckles. Doing the same thing with the green. Just going to stir it in. And we're ready to start pouring. I'm just going to put little puddles randomly across the surface of the pineapple. Starting with this gold. And you can tell that it's very transparent. I didn't want a real heavy opaque color. And the alcohol actually helped to achieve that and now in between these puddles of gold I'm going to add little puddles of green and then once I start adding the heat 
to this, it's going to allow uh, these colors to start moving and blending together and with that clear base under there they'll uh, be able to just kind of move and it will all come together and be a cohesive look. I'm letting this part of the video uh, play out at regular speed and pretty much um, for the whole time the process that it took just so that you can see the um, way the heat moves the resin and then the colors start to blend together. And once you get this um, first part done, you'll be able to see where you might have to come back in and um, add a little bit more color here or there, and um, just so that it will help with the blending. This is part of the um, project with resin that I always enjoy um, taking the colors and just pouring them out and then manipulating them into the design and the pattern that I want to come out with. And again, just randomly adding these little puddles. And I'm stirring it a little bit before I start pouring, just in case that uh, any of the powders have separated a little bit. I want to make sure that they are blended um, back in before I pour them on the uh, board. I'm loving the way this is coming together. Just going to heat it up a little bit more. And I think this first layer is just about done. going to make sure um, it's starting to go over the edge which is fine I did want it to um, go over but I want to make sure that it's smooth and I can just uh, use my hand and go around the edges to make sure that um, everywhere on the sides has some resin covering it. I'm going to use my stir stick and um, let the clear resin drip down into these um, crevices of the top of the pineapple. I want to make sure all that gets covered. And now I'm just going to let this set and cure before I come back and add a, another layer of resin. And um, I'm not going to put that portion of the video in. Uh, it would just be a flood coat. But um, this is how it looks right now. 
and then I'm going to show you the look after I do the flood coat but I think it's looking really good I love these colors together and um, it's been a fun project so I want to thank you all for watching and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below in the comment section of below this video I love to hear y'all's feedback tell me what you think about it and um, I will be glad to answer you and without further ado here is the flood coat it has retained all that color and you can see the little darker areas where I drizzled the paste in and the sides I think it's looking good up here all the glitter is beneath the resin now there's nothing sticking above all the little mica chips are evenly coated and it's smooth surface so I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next creative escapade bye bye